Hello, welcome! In this video, we are going to install the Senha Segura Network Connector. First, we are going to do some definitions. What is the Network Connector? The Senha Segura Network Connector allows users to log into devices located on networks where Senha Segura doesn't have connectivity. It also solves the problem of network overlapping. The network connector supports all the connection types available with Senha Segura such as RDP, SSH, Telnet, HTTP, HTTPS, etc. So, let's divide the network connector in two parts, the Senha Segura network connector server and the Senha Segura network connector client. First, we will activate the network connector server. The configuration of the server component will be done on the Senha Segura instances through the Orbit2 by the command Orbit Network Connector. The sudo access to the Senha Segura server is necessary and the clearing of the port TCP51445 to allow the agents to communicate with Senha Segura. By typing Orbit Network Connector dash dash help we can see all the options available for this command. It is possible to use the commands setup, start, stop, restart, and status. In our case, in the Senha Segura console, we are going to type the command sudo orbit network connector setup. This command will configure the server component of the Senha Segura network connector. Let's enter yes. After the command is processed and finished, we can notice that our message was successful. But to see the error messages you possibly have received, go to the Senha Segura Help Center in the tab PEM, Network Connector and Install. It is very important to select and copy the fingerprint in the success message to use it in the configuration of the agent. After copying it to a safe place, we finished the configuration of the server component of the Senha Segura network connector. In the second stage, the agents for the Senha Segura network connector will be registered. The client component of the solution that will be used by this server to allow the device to communicate with the Senha Segura server. To configure the agents section, go to devices, Settings and Connectors. After configuring the server, there will automatically be a new entry in this tab. We can go into Edit, and open the tab Agents. We register the IP addresses and ports of the Senha Segura network connector agents that will be used by the solution using the Add button. In this case, I had already registered the one that will be used in this example. After registering your agent, click on Save. To continue with the client configuration, as a prerequisite, the following softwares are needed – Docker and Docker Compose. For more information, access the help center of Senha Segura at the same address mentioned before. First of all, you must have access to a Linux machine with Docker installed. On a network, Senha Segura doesn't have access and create the docker compose.yml file using your favorite editor. In this example, we will use the Veen application that will contain the agent information, like the following example. In addition, this same file is also in the help center of Senha Segura. This will be the final result of our .yml file. To copy the text inserted in the file, we go to the help center of Senha Segura under a PAM, Network Connector and Installation. We are going to click on Copy, 
and paste it into our .yml file. We will need to change the Senha Segura fingerprint, the Senha Segura agent port, and the Senha Segura address. Just like in our file, we change the Senha Segura fingerprint, the Senha Segura agent port with the one we registered inside Senha Segura, and the Senha Segura address. Also, as we are performing a standalone installation, we need to remove this part of the text above. And this is how your final document should look if your installation is standalone. Is it your file to save? Finally, let's run the command sudo docker compose up minus d. Enter your password. And with the success message, we finish the agent configuration. And that's the end of our video. To see a demonstration of the relationship of devices to the network connector and the start of a session using the network connector, we suggest you to move on to the next video. Thank you so much for watching.